shock wave to hit the area, and this one reached 4.5 on the Richter scale. This is KKC, Los Angeles, News and Views. You can turn back now, or learn the stuff they don't want you to know. Here are the facts. Planet Earth is a work in progress. For billions of years, Earth's surface has shifted as tectonic plates push and slide against one another, creating mountains, valleys, volcanoes, and earthquakes. Scientists have mapped the layout of tectonic plates across the globe, and have also discovered fault lines, areas of the world where natural disasters such as volcanic eruptions and earthquakes are more likely to occur. When it comes to natural disasters, earthquakes are among the worst of the bunch. A strong earthquake can reduce cities to rubble in a matter of minutes. When scientists detect a small vibration, they can often predict larger vibrations. However, this only gives a few minutes warning. Today, most of the world focuses on preparing for earthquakes through engineering innovations like expansion joints or flexible steel fuses. However, researchers at the California Earthquake Prediction Evaluation Council and other institutions still hope to find a way to predict earthquakes with enough time to evacuate the area. One of the most promising areas of research concerns earthquakes and electromagnetic fields. Jacob Bortnick, a physicist consulting for QuakeFinder, notes that several studies have indicated that earthquakes generate a burst of electromagnetic waves before striking, leading scientists such as Anthony Fraser Smith to hypothesize that monitoring changes in the ionosphere can give us the ability to predict when and where the next earthquake will strike. Here's where it gets crazy. Across the globe, more and more conspiracy theorists believe that the relationship between earthquakes and electromagnetic waves is old news. But they go a few steps further, alleging that some governments figured out this connection decades ago. What's more, some believe that the United States actually found a way to create earthquakes, transforming the entire surface of the planet into one gigantic weapon. How could this work? The conspiracy theorists believe that the U.S. Defense Department built the HARP station to weaponize the ionosphere, using it to create artificial earthquakes. Authors like Jerry Smith trace the possibility of earthquakes on demand from Nikola Tesla's experiments to the present day. So where's the evidence? It's true that HARP conducts research in the world's ionosphere, but the exact nature of this research is classified. There's a leap of logic here. The fact that earthquakes trigger changes in the ionosphere doesn't necessarily mean that changes in the ionosphere will trigger changes in the Earth's surface. It's like saying that since cars move forward at a green light, traffic lights will also turn green when a car moves. But members of the Department of Defense have made statements regarding this type of exotic weaponry. In 1997, Secretary of Defense William S. Cohen warned of technology with the potential to set off earthquakes and remotely detonate volcanoes through the use of electromagnetic energy. Secretary Cohen did not confirm that this technology exists, but he did acknowledge that it was within the realm of possibility. To the casual observer, the past two years have been filled with a higher rate of earthquakes across the world, from Okinawa to Haiti and numerous other places. Yet, it's important to remember that millions of earthquakes occur every year, most of which go unnoticed. About 18 of these earthquakes have a magnitude of 7.0. Could it be that the number of earthquakes have remained at a steady average, and it's only our ability to document these quakes that has improved? Or is there something else rumbling beneath the surface of these natural disasters? Something they don't want you to know. Dr. Hartman, are you sure this is safe with all these tremors going on? Be quiet. Look. Fascinating. Why can't you realize what this means? The ability to cross into another world. Dr. Hartman? Dr. Hartman? <laughs>